they tell us that the product of x and y is k, but then they ask us about k being negative. So under what circumstances would the product of x and y be negative? Well, that would happen as long as x and y are on opposite sides of zero. Now this is an x-y coordinate plane, so you have to think about when do x and y sit on opposite sides of zero? And I'm thinking that in quadrant one, x and y are both positive, so that's a no-go. In quadrant two, x is negative and y is positive, so that works. In quadrant three, they're both negative, so that's a no-go because their product would be positive. And then finally, in the fourth quadrant, you have positive values of x and negative values of y, so that actually works. Uh, so it turns out that quadrants 2 and 4 are both good. Correct answer is answer choice D. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.